Hello, Rick Wimberly here, your host for Myths of Selling to Government. Today we take excerpts from our episode on the three types of government buyers. Every time, no matter what you're selling. The full podcast episode can be found through our GovSelling.com website or wherever you listen to podcasts. There are basically three types of government buyers, procurers, influencers, and end users. First, the procurers. Now, these are the folks often referred to as contracting officers. They're charged with managing the purchasing process. They serve as filters, often gatekeepers, and some folks find them really annoying. But these are the experts who really know how the government buys stuff. Plus, they're the ones in charge of buying, even though they may not ever see the product, and sometimes they won't even know what it is. Now, they can be a partner in your sale or an absolute nightmarish obstacle. And sometimes it depends on how you approach them. Showing a genuine concern for helping them do their job will help. First, understand their pain. They have the tough job of getting the best value for the organization while following strict rules. They have to satisfy end users, and sometimes the end users consider the procurers a hindrance rather than a help. Next, you need to understand their rules. You just have to read quite a bit. And if you don't understand the rules, just ask. Finally, remember to constantly demonstrate true value and reliability. Now, the influencers. Influencers are the program managers and key decision makers. And don't let the term influencer mislead you. Many of these folks carry considerable power over decisions. With this group, a first consideration is relieving the pain they're experiencing. If you don't truly understand what it is, keep digging until you do. Hammer home that you're a safe bet. The more that influencers feel you won't embarrass them down the road, the more likely you'll get the contract. Last, but certainly not least, the end users. These are the folks who are the specialists in the job for which the buy is being made. They may not have the broad strategic perspective of a program manager, but they know the details and the inner workings of their world better than anyone. A word of caution, um, learn the hard way. Be wary of the end user who tells you, hey, you've done a good job, and the decision has been made to buy from you. Congratulations. Sounds good, right? Well, don't count on it. When you hear this good news, next find out what the real purchasing process will be. The end user may not know or may think he knows but really doesn't know. How many times have we heard, all we need to do is take it to bid, and I'm sure you'll do well. Then the specs come out, and they're not what you anticipated. And the door for your competition to sneak through becomes wide open. As you can imagine, selling messages with the end users group is features and functions of your solution. But, I must add, only in a targeted fashion, aimed at how these features will eliminate their pain. Okay, procurers, influencers, and end users. Figure out who's what in the process. Understand what they need from you and tailor your approach to those needs and their position. And you know what you get when you do that? A good customer for a long time. Thanks for checking out Clips from Myths of Selling to Government. Subscribe to it wherever you get your podcast or to this YouTube channel where we'll continue to publish excerpts from Myths of Selling to Government.